being able to see this is, is unbelievable. Um, but y'all don't really want to hear from me. Y'all want to hear from the lady. Uh, you're the man of the hour. No, you're the, you're the woman <laughs> of the hour. But I want everybody to know this ribbon cutting is important because this will be the second month in a row in the city of Columbia that we've opened more new businesses that are all women owned. Just want to say that. Just a minute ago, I said, gosh, I hope I don't have to speak, do I? Because I'm running on about four hours sleep. I'm not sure how articulate I will be. Uh, before anything, can I get all of our fabulous vendors to come up here and stand with me, please? And if you don't come, I'm gonna call you out. So, so I told the story the other day that, you know, as with all projects, there are ups and downs and there are delays and there are frustrations. Um, but, but for the most part, I've just said, you know, when I, when I decided to do this, I prayed that God would bless it or block it. And he has blessed it beyond, beyond belief. Um, I am just in awe of the fact that this amazing, talented group of people put their faith in me on nothing more than literally a plan on a napkin um, and, and said, yeah, we're in, we'll come join you. And not only did they come join, but they've become my friends. They text me in the middle of the night and say, hey, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you, we're worried about you, are you okay? Um, this group is absolutely incredible. And yesterday morning I came in and I, it was the first time I was here by myself early and I walked around and for, for that minute, it hit me, and I just burst into tears, at which point three vendors walked in and looked at me like I was crazy, and I said, <laughs> we did it. We did it, guys. We, we did this 45 days ago. This was a fully operative gym, and we made it into something completely unique for Columbia with an incredible group of people who, who believed in Columbia and believed in this dream. And I, I think the applause goes to this crowd. and for all the support. And to my friends and my family, my poor son who's out here was here yesterday with a, with a cart full of tools going booth to booth helping to do things and um, the friends who have been so supportive. And I just think Partage is gonna be a wonderful addition to Columbia. And um, there's a lot more coming to Partage. The cafe should open in January. Um, there'll be fresh flowers. There are some other little things that'll be coming to even, to make it even more of a destination for everyone. Um, so we just welcome you all to be a part of it, and we appreciate you being here today. Thank you. I do. I have a little something for our mayor. Daniel, are you here? When I, when I talk about this group of creatives, and I do mean incredibly talented creatives, um, Daniel and I weren't able to really sync calendars till very recently, and I reached out to one and said, hey, I really want to do something special. Um, his name's John Medlin. Is he up here? No? Okay. I don't know where he is. He was here. Um, John Medlin, if you haven't been to the Ace Kitchen booth, go by. He is a metal smith, a metal forger. I may have done that wrong. Um, he's unbelievably talented. Um, and so this is for you. If you want to oh. open it and take a look. It's, um, oh, wow. Look at that. Pretty amazing. So we wow. Have To have somebody who, who wants to chase a dream like this, and I just finished talking to some of the business community about what's going on in Columbia. Just so y'all understand, I mean, over the last 18 months, we've had 1,300 new businesses open up in Columbia. Uh, some small, some large, some in between. But what it shows is that people believe in our community and people are coming here as we're recruiting and people are coming to look at Columbia and we're getting more restaurants and more retail. This is what they're looking for. It's about quality of life. And we have quality of life in Columbia. We just don't ever tell anybody. <laughs> so our goal is to continue to market and go visit and recruit, to, not to take away from business here, but to complement so that we grow together as a community because businesses that grow here stay here and they support our community. And that's why projects like this are so important. So Leslie, thank you for pulling this together. And let's have some fun and cut a ribbon. Absolutely. Yeah.